Woodrow Wilson was in many ways the great tragic figure of the Great War. More than any single person, it was in his power to determine whether we fought or not. The decision was an absolute torment for him. He had this deep aversion to war, but he truly understood what America was trying to do to come of age, that it is our responsibility to, in Wilson's phrase, make the world safe for democracy. No one had articulated the kind of vision of America as a global citizen the way Wilson did. And he felt profoundly in the end that the only way we could have a place at the table and dictate what the future of the globe would be would be to prove ourselves on the battlefield. And in the end, his efforts to make the war mean something through the League of Nations or through the Treaty of Versailles ran headlong into his own arrogance and inflexibility. And so he was his own worst enemy. And that's the tragedy, I think, of Woodrow Wilson.